Hey again, this is a Rank Sentimentalist, and this is part two of my Let's Play on the World of Warplanes open beta. Um, in this episode, we're going to be flying uh, the three Tier 1 elite planes, the American, the German, and the Japanese. Uh, I dropped the Soviet line just because, uh, well, I'm going to go up two American lines, the fighter and the uh, carrier fighter line. So that's four anyway, so... Five's pushing it. Four's probably pushing it. Uh, nothing against the Soviets, the Russians. As I said, just, uh, you know, my dad and my uncles, they fought in World War II in Europe and the Pacific. So uh, I basically fly the planes we either we flew or, or people we flew against. So, again, nothing personal there. So let's just jump right in, and we'll start off with the American uh, P-12 fully elited. Check out the modules. So we're a little bit faster. Maybe we can take a little bit more damage in the last battle. Here we go. And it still looks like uh, a lot of tier one players, but you see there's a pretty even distribution uh, from tiers one to five. And we are right where we were when we played last time. Kind of in that middle third or so. And again, we're playing on a gamepad. We've got a uh, yaw on the left stick, I mean on the right stick. Pitch and roll on the left stick. Right triggers fire. Right bumper is uh, WEPS, and uh, left bumper is Kill Engine. So I turned the volume down to about half of what I had it last time, so hopefully uh, you hear me a little better. Again, the key to this is really staying together. The first part of these games, usually everyone that stays together picks off all the stragglers, and then for end game. Two big groups come together. But shooting people off uh, each other's tails is a good way to ensure an entry. Again, I'm certainly not the best pilot, but I'm probably not the worst. Either. I don't really want to chase that heavy, that tier 2 heavy fighter. So I'm going to go down here and go after that guy. Who's on my friend? It looks like he's Japanese. I definitely don't want to get in a turn fight with him. Hopefully I can avoid it here. I didn't ram him on purpose. But we need to get a little bit too close. Well, let's just jump back to the uh, to the air. And off we go with our German. Oh, it's three times experience right now. Yeah, matchmaking time is generally under 30 seconds. Looks like we're headed back to that same game. Huh, we might be in, in an all, uh... No, we'll be in a 2 and a 1 and 2 game. But 
Yeah, it's hard. You know, when you're in a big uh, fur ball like that, above the harbor. So it's the same map, looks like we're coming from the opposite way, right? There's something about the scale on these maps that bothers me. Like some of these rivers should be hundreds of meters wide, but they're only, you know, maybe five or six meters. the Elited uh, Type 91, the modules here, upgraded airframe, upgraded engine, uh, you know, slightly upgraded guns. Look at all the tier twos. So I think I said last time. You know, it's, it's definitely not a flight sim, but the, the aircraft do have you know, the character, uh, representative characteristics, I guess is how you, you'd put it. So the Japanese planes generally have good firepower, but uh, uh, they're kind of made of paper. I don't know, maybe it was the, I was watching the History Channel, and somebody said, you know, the Japanese came to shoot, and came to come to be shot at. Unfortunately, that's what they, you know, in a, in a battle with, with hundreds of planes, 
you're going to get shot at. Being able to take some damage is definitely good. you have it there are the tier one elited aircraft uh see you next time